lots of familiar faces lots of unfamiliar faces lots of good faces and a lot of people in the right place right time thank you folks for joining us we are going to give people a couple more minutes to join us in and uh, as we speak we have more and more people in the waiting room so we're going to disable the waiting room in a second so you're going to see a bunch more how many do we have right now okay we got about 33 people in the room hang on so you don't have to hear me twice we are going to kick it off in about a minute or so and the actual show will start in 3 to 4 minutes from now thanks for joining us folks okay cool super so while we're going to while we're waiting for folks uh, i'm going to introduce you to your host for the evening yogesh upadhyay who a lot of us know as upi so you'll hear him referred in both ways yogesh upi and a lot of other names that are not good to say in public but uh, there's yogesh for you he's going to be your host for the evening and he's going to kick it off in typical upi style with a few instructions over to you upi with a few instructions that's right this is all about following instructions very very strictly lux this is a very serious show guys thank you so much for coming this is improv comedy mumbai and stream alive uh, show thank you so much for joining us um when lux told me a few days ago that uh, he's building a software which is uh, increasing inter- uh, user uh, the audience interaction with uh, people on stage i was like okay we have to try it with improv because in the lockdown we tried lot of shows and we had lot of trouble and i'll talk about the trouble later but uh, i want to get the interaction going why don't you guys uh, tell us which city you are from use the chat of the zoom and just type in the city name as we talk so just keep uh, uh, typing in the city name and we'll see uh, if we can can uh, populate this map very very quickly wow some people are saying rameswaram rameswaram someone is from rameswaram i strictly doubt that but why not brilliant okay india is ahead right now 6 7 okay as we as as we as we put this in can you guys also put in the first line of a story that you would want to hear a simple first line like once upon a time or ram sat on his chair and sipped from a cup of coffee very very simple lines so maybe five or six of the, the those uh, you can put in as many as you as you want uh, singapore is also here fantastic okay now india is getting uh, beautiful india is getting like differentiated east coast west coast singapore brilliant all right so uh, I, I, as we wait i'm going to tell you a little bit about improv if you guys have never never seen an improv show before improv is unscripted that is we come on the stage without a script we don't know what we are going to do we are going to take suggestions from you and based on your suggestions and based on your reactions we are going to perform small games like if you have seen whose line is it anyway that's an improv show uh when we were on stage in real life we sometimes do a one hour murder mystery or one hour romantic comedy based on suggestions from the audience and we have no script we do a full play like that so when we, st- we when we we started thinking about online one of the biggest issues was we could never get audience reactions right now i feel like a fool i'm looking at a camera i know that there are at least 50 people on the other side listening to me but we have we have for 10 years we have been doing this show and when we do this show i can make eye contact with people i can hear them and most of all when we do well we can hear them laugh and laughter is a very peculiar thing like there is not one type of laugh there is a he he which is like okay i like what you are doing there is sometimes a full blooded roll on the floor laughter or a laugh out loud loud or there is a capital h a h a i mean these are just words i am trying to describe lot of different types of laughs so guys when and you any time you start feeling uh, that you're laughing why don't you share it with us in the chat again so that we know that we are getting across to you because as i said it is very difficult to do improv which is based totally on audience interaction and not know how the audience is feeling so okay the top of so you can try he he you can try ha ha capital h you can try lol you can try rofl or you can try groan sometimes when you laugh when you don't want to all right haha we are getting haha very good this is from one of our own guys fantastic excited you can use emoticons as well by the way oh you can use emoticons as well all oh, right i know i told Brilliant. you we couldn't but i found that we could so <laughs> okay <laughs> oh yes i can see that that's brilliant uh, okay that i saw the crying one i'm going to go the, uh, that that is a groan that you are laughing in spite of yourself uh, one of the things that i miss a lot of times is women in the audience uh, calling me a sexy beast that is the time for the groan because that never happened yes so 
please please keep sending suggestions please keep reacting please keep talking an improv show is all about audience interaction as long as you don't use your mic it is going to be fantastic so that's that's where we are fantastic oh, there's a emoji which is saying thinking i don't know what they are thinking about anyway so improv as i said is unscripted theater we are going to take suggestions from you based on that we are going to perform small skits or tell you small stories or play some games and it is all going to be scripted done for the first time here in front of you and never to be performed again i use this tone because this is the cue for the audience to say ooh let's have some ooh guys come on come on come on come on come on ooh thank you so much manish agarwal brilliant mm. never again is a fallacy someone is very logical here has to be an imc and uh, nice 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 all right are we ready for the first game team the team can speak yes <laughs> yes we are yes we are hey. <laughs> fantastic so for the first game what i'm going to do is i'm to get going to get two members uh, who are not regular part of the team but like get them in because improv is all about getting everyone involved and lux and manish are also going to join us so manish and lux why don't you switch on your uh, uh, cameras and mics and say hi to everyone hey and we have two members from improv comedy mumbai the very very famous and the very very powerful avinash verma and avin uh, ankit challa hello hello hi hi what's up uh, ankit is also here fantastic yeah. fantastic great great stuff guys so the, and let's dive right into the show the first game we are going to play is a storytelling game you guys have hopefully by now given us lot of beginnings uh lux can we get some of those beginnings here as i explain the game to them absolutely give me a second all right so what we will do is we will tell a story one line at a time i will start the story then ankit will give the second sentence avinash would get the third sentence lux the fourth one and then manish the fifth one and then it comes back to me there is one constraint and the constraint is that after the first sentence the alternate sentences should begin with the words fortunately or unfortunately so i might say raja and rani got married that is the first sentence a simple nice sentence ankit might say fortunately they were very much in love avinash who is going next might say unfortunately raja's mother rani's mother in law did not like rani too much a very classic indian story as old as the okay i will not go there as old as what uh, but uh, ramayan has part of this actually um then the next person lux would say fortunately something 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 and mani should go unfortunately something 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 and then it comes back to me if all of this is making sense say yes on the chat please go ahead say yes oh actually they can't or they can they, they are voting right now all right actually, i've got the i've got uh, eight of the options that we picked from the chat and huh. uh, i don't know can you see that on your screen i'll put them up I, for people yeah, to yeah yeah i can see it choose from yeah yeah i can see that there is, <laughs> yeah the fart smell pungent uh, come on guys fart are we going to talk about fart out here and uh, but for, and just out of curiosity fart smell, smell pungent what else would it anyway uh, right so uh, uh, first sentence fortunately unfortunately fortunately unfortunately and there is a second constraint and that is where the audience comes in if any of us does not make sense or messes fortunately or unfortunately that is says fortunately instead of unfortunately and vice versa or just takes too long you can kill that performer by saying die ankit or die avinash or die lux or die manish any of those and or die yogesh <laughs> of course it happens sometimes of course that is also allowed but uh, so when when you say that none of us is actually going to die but we will be eliminated from the story oh, okay gosh. oh i know yeah this is serious stuff this is competition boss it's it does the way it games. works squid yeah. games online squid games hunger games all kind of stuff right <laughs> so um, but as one great man said that is spider man with great power comes great responsibility enjoy the story don't try to just keep killing us okay but with great power comes great responsibility if someone is not doing well kill them be ruthless all right make sense okay yes 
Uh, Great. Stating so, that. which is the first line that has come up? Let's go. Uh, I Don't think there was one please. interesting one. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it up again here. Tina is so nice. Don't die, please. She's so parents nice. you weren't. Yeah, it all started when both my parents didn't show up. Happy my birthday. Oh man, this is. <laughs> That is what the audience wants. So that is what we will go with. Actually, I like it's not like I meant to cheat also. That is also a nice one. Uh, to be fair, most very nice suggestions here. Great. It's all started when both my parents didn't show up for my birth. That is the story we'll go with. Uh, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Upi, could you go over the order of people again, if you don't mind? Sure. So I'll start the story. Uh, Ankit goes next. Avinash afterwards. Lux. And then Manish. So it is all alphabetical. There is a, ah. it's unscripted, but there is a method to this madness. It is not so simple, man. This is very well thought of. All right. So, <laughs> all right. It all started when my parents didn't show up for my birthday. That is what I'm told that I was found in a jungle. Fortunately, I had a tattoo which says Ram Joseph. Unfortunately, there was no one around me who was either named Ram or Joseph. So I never knew if they were my parents or just someone, a tattoo artist trying something. Fortunately, that was not the only part of my body that was tattooed. I was to discover more. Unfortunately, the other part of my body that was tattooed could not be discussed in public. Fortunately, Someone adopted me. That was Shanti and Suresh. They adopted me. And as I grew up, I would, but I would look at my tattoos and say, who is Ram? Who is Rahim? Unfortunately, Suresh said, please don't discuss what all happened in the past. You are our son. That's it. Unfortunately, it always came to my head. I just couldn't live. I just couldn't sleep. I just couldn't eat. Fortunately, in the clearing through the jungle, there was the latest, newest outlet of McDonald's for me to grab a bite. Unfortunately, as I entered the McDonald's, I saw the proprietor's name, Joseph. Unfortunately, I can see die Yogesh and die Opi. That means that I have to die if I end up both of them. <laughs> Audience is not very kind some, for some reason. All right. All right. Good guys. job, audience. Good job. Yeah. The right thing. Upi, as we say, digitally, the writing is on the wall. I, brilliant stuff. Our writing is indeed on the wall. Uh, I tried to think that I'll try to kind of not add up Yogesh and Upi, but somehow that was not working. I, I didn't think it was. Very <laughs> honest. Very do. honest. Yogesh very is honest. a very honest person. Our audience yeah. did a great job because the weak player are out. Now it will be more fun. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the next. Uh, we'll go to the next. Uh, next uh, sentence. Can uh, can we see that, Lux? Yes, sir. And we're going to tell the audience that they need to reset and restart their killing. By the way, and I'm just going to pull right. up the. Sure. Here's a screenshot of what we had earlier. Yeah. Okay. We are going with. It is not like I meant to cheat. It is not like I meant to cheat. It is just that I found myself with Sunita in the hotel room that night. Fortunately, she was upset. I just hugged her. Unfortunately, the hugging went ahead with a kiss and then one thing led to another. Fortunately, at exactly that moment, there was a knock on the door. It was room service, I think. Unfortunately, the, what I did not know is that the room service guy was a spy for my wife. Fortunately, he said, hello, sir. The moment he said, hello, I see that small camera he was carrying inside his pen. Unfortunately, Sunita was not well-dressed at that time. And from that camera, what you saw, you thought there was something happening between us. Fortunately, the camera was bought on Flipkart from the Xiaomi store, which was selecting and selling defective knockoffs. Unfortunately, 
This meant that the picture had frozen with the wrong impression on it. Fortunately, the hand was very closer to the picture and there was a written Ram Joseph in that. Unfortunately, that got me distracted and I fell on Sunita, which looked like we were having an affair. Fortunately, the Wikipedia definitions of, affair, of affairs had changed in the last three months. Unfortunately, she did not believe this still. Fortunately, one drop and of tear. There is too much public demand for Avinash to be killed. I am sorry, Avinash. I oh, thought okay. you were doing very well, but oh, people okay. don't agree. <laughs> I think Lux, Lux just escaped death by doing some real clever uh, product placement. <laughs> 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 And Xiaomi kind of, uh, there were Xiaomi fans here. Yes. <laughs> so the, the best comment till now I like is Dai poor Sunita you. Also. Dai Sunita, I know. Why poor Sunita? I mean, she had to, did nothing wrong yet. Come on, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's go to the next one. Let's keep it rolling, guys. This is this is good. And let's let's do it faster now that supposedly weaker players are out. Uh, let's see how you guys do. Much faster. Okay. Ready? Yes. Um, which is the one we are doing. The green mold on pizza was disgusting. I threw the pizza down and said to the waiter, take it back. Fortunately, waiter agreed. Sir, this was always a complaint pizza. I'll make sure it will never happen again. Unfortunately, the waiter was disappointed because he had spat on the pizza before bringing it to me in the first place. Fortunately, another pizza was ready, so the waiter could bring it fairly quickly. Unfortunately, I was not hungry, so I said, no, please take it away. Fortunately, the waiter had anticipated this and brought a second dish from behind him at exactly that moment. Unfortunately, I was getting more and more irritated with the waiter, and I pushed him. Fortunately, waiter, while falling down, Okay, I hold his hand and there was an eye contact that happened. And I said, okay, fine, I'll try. Unfortunately for the waiter, his sleeve rolled up and at that exact moment, there was a tattoo on it which said Ram Sham. Unfortunately, the waiter said, Mr. Joseph, do you see this tattoo? Fortunately, he said, yes, I also have this tattoo. You also shown the tattoo. The, the calls for Manish to be killed are growing. And this is like a lot of us when we know him as God. But still people are saying, die Manish. What an irony. And guys, did you see, I see a lot of yuck emojis. And did, did, did you, I, so with the green pizza, that is what will happen. What would have happened with the pungent part? Can you imagine where the story would go after that? Can it go to uh, like a Romeo and Juliet love story with the starting like there was this part felt pungent? So with great power comes great responsibility, guys. Come on. All right, last last round, Lux or Ankit, who's going to win this? Um, who wants Romeo and Juliet? That is very good. Oh, green pizza led to, leads to punch and fart. That is also true. That is also true. All right. To be fair, most people usually wear gloves when. Okay, let me try to make it as boring as I can and see if these two great storytellers say the story very fast and make it very interesting. To be fair, most people wear gloves when gardening. Gardening. Fortunately, I also wear gloves because sometimes I don't want to touch Rose with my naked hand. Unfortunately, Rose is never alone. It always has three, exactly three weeds around it. Fortunately, I love the smell of the rose. So I go close to the rose. Unfortunately, there are three thorns around the rose who love the smell of you. <laughs> All right, Lux, the great storyteller, has to win this. No doubt about it. Well done, Lux. Well done, well done, well done. So this was this a, a warm-up. Is this a point where I confess I doctored the word clouds and everything? Or I we'll keep that aside? I think we'll keep it aside. I think we'll keep it aside. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone said that while batting and wicket keeping, you always wear gloves. That is actually true. 
and um, that is that is fantastic thank you so much guys for uh, keeping the chat going and keep doing that we'll move to our next game our warm up is over i want ankit and avinash to switch on their um, um, their uh, monitors and uh, maybe we can take away the spotlight for everyone else um, audience yeah. great job for the last game bahut badhiya great thank you so much yeah ankit lasted till the end and that's the this is the first time this is the first time ankit has lasted till the end ankit is not known for this particular game but i think this played really well also. very audience is very intelligent this time i think audience is indeed very intelligent it is very quantitative it is all from my <laughs> institute and they bloody hate me they kill me the first <laughs> they kill me very big in the very big name all right so the next game we are going to play is a game called excuses what happens is you guys imagine these two people are in the same location like maybe they are in a railway station or an airport uh, keep it simple again uh, they are together one of them will try to leave the scene will try to make excuses and leave the scene Avinash, why don't you try yeah. to leave the scene uh, by okay. making some excuses? And Ankit is going to try to pick, uh, keep him there. So Avinash may say something like, "Oh, my uh, my car is getting towed." So Ankit might tell him, "Don't worry, I'll give you a new car or whatever." We'll see what happens. Uh, hmm. That makes sense. So guys, for uh, what location are these guys? Uh, where, where are these guys? Can you give us some locations? A one or two word art exhibition. Oh wow! Art, art bathroom. exhibition. Bathroom. Bathroom. Bathroom is like every time we get that. Yeah, bathroom, bathroom we get uh, you know, every time. Surprisingly, we keep getting bathroom quite often. I, you don't never know why. Why is that? Never appreciate it. Ob Gain. Ob Gain is also something that we have got quite often. Very strange. Very strange. No, I think uh, no people idea. say bathroom because it's a it's a safe space for each and every one. So as soon as they are like in a panic mode, they say bathroom. <laughs> probably that is good <laughs> haji ali haji ali is a uh, you guys want to do a mosque no actually no forget it <laughs> I, i don't know especially, where you guys will take it especially yeah. today what is happening is getting, in mumbai <laughs> yeah it, it is getting recording improv show a lovely suggestion from the audience great suggestions fantastic yeah. morg is becoming bigger i, I like the art bigger. I I like the art thing also. I art, art exhibition. Yeah, the the ones that are becoming bigger bigger, which means that more and more audience members Morg. are voting for it. More more is one. More is uh, so more by more. I guess they mean a place where dead bodies are kept. So maybe yeah. doctors and uh, technicians are in charge of dead body. That's mm-hmm. fine. I think we can go with more. More is the biggest one. Okay. Makes sense, Ankit. We are fine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a place where dead bodies are kept. Uh, take it away, guys. Have you decorated the body? Yes, yes, I did completely. Makeup and everything done. Everything I did, lipstick and like you know some uh, burgundy color to the hair mm. and everything. You are an artist, I must say. Definitely, sir. What one thing I observed when I was I was there was a body in the ta- there was a tattoo which says Ram Joseph. Ram Very funny. Joseph. <laughs> oh yeah, on the hand of a. I, Uh-huh. maybe he was a writer trying to write the second part of samar akbar n3 but he couldn't finish it so just so you you sir you are so intelligent i tell you you have <laughs> answers for everything yeah. everything like but i feel yeah. really bad i re- i feel really bad we both are such an artist i mean i am intelligent you are such a wonderful artist you stuck here at this mog ah uh, yeah passion oh, my, following my passion is ex- I'm sorry, oh. my cigarette just uh, finished. I'll just get another one. Are no wait, wait, wait a minute, sir. <laughs> take this. Oh, you take oh. this thing. Take oh, this and lighter, a... lighter. Take thank the light. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, sorry, yes, I, I, I burned your hand also a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Sorry. Now nothing feels. There is no feeling anymore. You burn me. You... Anyway, yeah, you were saying. Ah. You were saying. Ah. So, so what I feel, you know. sometime this the, this man who died ram joseph like you know um, i think the, the spirit came out from the body oh. i just felt like yesterday it just the spirit just came like you know you saw that window moving no uh, you saw that window, window moving, moving uh, window moving and like you know it it just i i, I was very scared 
Ravi, no, Ravi, no. don't be scared. Don't be scared. I know about that window. Wait, I'll get the screwdriver. I'll fix that window. It happens every time. Whenever someone uh, dies, some, for some uh, reason it gets loose. Wait, wait. Uh, I'll get a screwdriver. I'll fix it. Wait a minute. Ravi? Ravi, what's wrong with you? I am Ram Joseph. Oh my God. Secret throwing. Oh. Oh, oh my God! Sir, what happened? happens to you? Oh, oh, Ravi, Ravi! Oh my God, Ravi! I I think you you got possessed. You there was there was some. Oh my God! I'm really scared. I I just go and call the. Uh, wait mother. wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? We see. I'm going to call Can the you, father, Pandit. Who will I, take the ghost out of you? No, no. We need to find the ghost. We need to find with this. There is a reason. There is someone that that person is trying to say something to us. You mean you fight. and I? We have to fight. I should not get yeah, hurt. We, we should fight. We need the help. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ram, Ram Joseph. Ram Joseph. Uh, I Ram Joseph. need strawberry ice cream. Right away. Right away. I'll just go and get it. It's it right. Wait. Sir. Oh, Ravi. Sir. Ravi. Oh. Ravi. Ravi. The ghost needs strawberry ice cream. I yes. I need to sir, go and get it right away. Sir, listen up, sir. If we will just give him what he wants, it will be. We'll always be like, you know, we'll be like a, a food Save. service for him. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, I understand. I understand. Oh, he, he's going to take advantage. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, is, is there someone with uh, Ram Joseph on their tattoo? He, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh. This, 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 the dead body. Yes. No, no, it's not a dead body. Our mistake. Actually, you know, sometimes it happens. I'll just take the body. What? Oh, what did he say? He took the body away. He took the body away. No, but he said that he. What was the mistake? He said that Ram Joseph wasn't dead. So that means you were just acting. <laughs> There are so many dead people. Oh, you were lying to me. I do not work with people who lie. Stay oh, here. Oh, I'm leaving. Hey, listen, listen. What? I am Ravi's mother. What? Yeah, I'm. I'm Ravi's mother. If you are Ravi's mother, then why were you acting like Ram Joseph? Uh, uh, Sometimes you just want to have ice cream, strawberry ice cream, right? Just for strawberry ice cream, you did this, right? Auntie, <laughs> Ravi, your mother needs strawberry ice cream. We need to give that her to her right now. She's doing all these crazy things, and I, I am getting scared. See, my mom is very weird. Like you know. Oh, uh, she, parcel uh, from Swiggy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's for Ravi's mother. This, okay. I tell you oh, this. Ah, uh, this, this, they, this spirits. You know, they, they have this Swiggy and Zomato thing and all. Ravi, I don't really care about the spirits anymore. What is happening? What is uh, happening? Are you trying to? I don't know. My 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 family. Is your mother okay. really dead? Yes. Okay. Then let's let's do what she wants. Let's let me just feed this strawberry ice cream to you right now. Here you go. Go for it. Auntie Ji, pranam. No. No. Don't pranam, use spoon. Auntie. What? Don't use spoon. Then how will you eat with your hand? No ways! I am not doing that. No ways! Please leave it here, Auntie. I have no idea what kind of fetish you have in the great heaven, but no, I cannot stay here anymore. I don't see where this is going. I am leaving. Hey, listen, listen. and seen, and seen, and seen, and seen. So, I think Avinash just about managed to go. All right, guys. Keep sending your reactions, positive and negative. Uh, we are all good uh, with this, and uh, we'll quickly move to our next game, which is a game which is. Uh, uh, am I am I audible? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Probably yes. All right. We can hear you. So, we can see you. Yeah, you you can just about see my head. I think my camera has shifted a bit. Let me get that straightened. All right. Okay, that is too much straightening. right so the next game we are going to play is called uh, welcome back in which uh, we are going to host talk shows and the name of the talk show is going to be based on initials that you send us 
So if you send us um, the name, uh, the initials BB, maybe we'll say welcome back to the show. Uh, the show is called Bollywood Baat Cheat. And the guest today I have is Shah Rukh Khan and uh, uh, Ankit would be my guest. And we will have a little bit of interaction and then we switch to the next one in which Ankit has to create a new show. Welcome back to the show, Bouncing Balls. And my guest is XYZ and then we take it from there. So can, can I get some initials from you guys? PP, someone is already starting with SSP, wow. Let's 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 go with two two letter initials. Let's see what people are saying. And if you like a particular set of initials, we'll just uh, um, we'll just uh, kind of if you if you like a particular set of initials, just repeat it. Then it will kind of get uh, upvoted, and we we will go with that. S U people are just going with their own. Oh F U also. All right, definitely not their own initials. T T okay. T T T seems to be getting bigger. How is that? Um, and should we go with TT? Yeah, TT. Start with TT and then we can change. Whenever. We can see. Keep, keep sending initials. Uh, keep voting, upvoting more and more initials and we'll see. All right. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my show, Tricky Tandav. And we have a dancer with, I have a dancer with me, Mr. Uh, Shankar, who is a phenomenal dancer who can do very good break dancing. Mr. Shankar, Mr. Shankar, Mr. Shankar. Hi. Mr. Shankar. Hi. Hi, that is, that, that, that is, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Can, 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 can you just give me, can you just give yeah, me yeah. a minute and yeah. uh, so tell me, me how, how you started, how, how you started dancing? Yeah, when uh, I was trying to ball, I was trying to come out when my delivery was happening. So I was not coming out. So they just pushed me. So I, it's like I started dancing. Switch. What are the initials? TT. Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it's uh, my name is Ankit, and this show is about transform your pits. Yes, uh, it's it's uh, so how do you transform? Like you know, you uh, how you transform it? Oh, you take other skin. Uh, yes, skin yes. Out. See, the beauty of having TTs is you take them from your mind and place it anywhere you want. See, like in oh. these fingers, you can now these fingers have those. So you can oh. transform any part of your body into the TTs. Okay. You see, it's amazing how you can just find any part and do it. Switch. Hello and welcome to our very special show. Uh, Tamasha Takloka. Yes, a show where we take bald people in front of you and make a joke out of it. Today we have with us uh, Mr. Rajat Sharma, who's also a news anchor and a bald person. Uh, Rajat ji, you have Bully. been <coughs> joked about in public for your boldness. Right. Yes. So can you please tell us how you feel what was the best joke on you? How I feel? And what was the best joke ever done on you in baldness? If someone actually laughs at something which is part of your appearance, how would you feel? <laughs> <laughs> when, when you say this, I really love how the shining thing from your head is shining so bright. <laughs> it's like a sun. Switch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my show, Traveling Tigers. In this show, I have the lion tamer, the tiger tamer, Sapru Singh. Sapru, you yeah, work with the Definitely, I work with the, always. That's a wonderful experience. Tiger makes you also tiger. Tiger is tiger. Ooh. Switch. Switch. Uh, hi guys, my name is Deepak and welcome to the show. It's called Thank please. You. New initials, please. New initials, guys. We, we had a lot of KLs and a lot of PDs. KL. <laughs> okay, KL. Okay. Welcome K -L. to the show. It's uh, kind 
and love definitely in today's world there is no kindness and there is no love so how do we spread kindness and love you always say good things to other people and you act like you are a little kid so because kids always they are happy and they only give love and that's what you do and what that's a, what you get what a wonderful thought this is yes uh, why can i get my chocolate make... now please definitely yes Switch. trying to mark hello and welcome to our show the initials are what kl right uh welcome to our show the show is called kanuni ladai today we have the great advocate with us mr rijesh mirchandani and he is fighting his own son in the court uh they are fighting regarding uh, why they should be allowed freedom so mr mirchandani can you please tell us about this fantastic case that you are fighting in the court that's right my son is trying to institutionalize me and i am resisting it that is the simple case he thinks i have lost my mind i haven't you can see i am absolutely sane you can clearly we, see that we know you can that, clearly we see know that. that you, you have... can see that yeah you of can course. see that right it is very clear yes yes it is yes. it, 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 it is clear right you you, you is... don't think you you, you don't think i have lost my mind right you you, you, you don't think so no no, no you haven't no switch no, no. switch switch uh welcome Please back audience uh, member uh, Can I get some new initials, audience member? Can, can we get some new initials for Yogesh? P D P and D. Welcome back to my show, Personal Development. In this show, I get one of the life coaches uh, who is very, very good in one particular thing. And today, I have Mr. Ankit Sharma with me, who is phenomenal in non-verbal communication. Ankit ji. you look at people's body language and are able to tell them you can you are able to read a person totally by looking at the body language okay let's let's try it what does my body language say i am not able to read your body language sir i are you saying that i have a big heart uh, are you saying that uh, that is so true that is so true that is so true uh, what else what else can you what else can, can can you can you tell me something more about me just by looking at my body language <laughs> okay i am losing my hair why does everyone keep telling me about my uh, losing my hair switch switch uh oh Hello guys, welcome. This is Raj, and welcome to the show. Can I get some new initials? R S R R S P R S P. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello guys, welcome to the show. Right system power. So, can <laughs> you explain what is this? Hello, sir. I'm sorry. There was only left system power in my system for a while, and that's why my camera couldn't see. Now I can see. As soon as I took the right turn, it started working. It is. It is the new idea of power generation. You always, whenever you are right, you will generate power. So when you are fighting with your wife, you may need to make sure that you are always right, and she is always on the left. In case she is right, then she will be one generating electricity. Very thoughtful, sir. This is brilliant. This is good is insight. It, yes, no, not just it's it's invention. It is right invention. Right system power. Definitely. Yes, and seen and seen. I'm not sure if the last one is clear to anyone. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging around with us. Uh, this is the last game that we are going to play now, which is um, oh G O D. That would have been a good uh, uh, set of initials. Too late for that. We are going to do a last game, which is press conference. uh the way this this game works is uh, press conference ankit is a celebrity he is going to step out uh, in the sense that he is going to remove his uh, ankit how do i tell you when to come back i uh, just wave the hand may i from uh, the side all right. i see all right 
So uh, you can take it off and go. Um, Ankit is a celebrity. You have to tell us who he is, and he's going to make two announcements. So you have, you have to tell us who, what those announcements are also. So for example, he could be Zelensky, and he might come and tell us that he howls at the wolves. So that's an example. Uh, so we, we will let's 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 get some uh, celebrity names. Uh, some someone who is famous but not very famous. We want to make it very tough for Ankit. Uh, we asterisk is a good idea, right? Let's see. Let's see what else are we getting. Jim Corbyn. <laughs> and uh, Upi, just for the audience benefit, if you like something someone has suggested, just type it again and yes, the yes, bar yes. is going if to become you, bigger. Yeah. Yes. If you want to upload any particular suggestion, uh, if you want to give a new suggestion, just keep saying that. If you want to, um, if you want to kind of upload something, you just uh, you just uh, uh, repeat it. Uh, don't uh, don't go like uh, someone like Bill Ma Mars might be slightly obscure for all of us, uh, our team, because we are uh, very India based. But someone in between will find Govinda would have been fine, but it's an international audience. So I don't know. Joe Rogan is a good one. But Joe Rogan actually, Ankit knows very Joe Rogan, I don't mind going with Joe Rogan. Yeah. Um, Joe, Joe, Rogan is a, Joe Rogan is actually a good one. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I would think that most people know who Joe Rogan is. Yeah, uh, yeah Ankit, Ankit would know. Yeah, uh, Ankit would know who Joe Rogan is. Um, Govinda is getting a lot of votes. Elon Musk is getting a lot of votes. Elon Musk might be too easy, guys. We don't want to make it too easy also. Actually, a lot of times we call this game um, torture Ankit. We want to make it very difficult. We want to make him look like a fool, actually. You know, a lot of times people say uh, improv is all about team spirit, about making each other look good. Not for us. Uh, for us, it is making each other look very bad. So <laughs> at, least, at least that's the way we feel about it. So we want Ankit to, to look bad. Um, we challenge each other. We, we love challenging each other. Chal challenging each other, make each other grow is the excuse that we use. But it is pure, most of the times it is just pure mean-spiritedness, at least on my part. Um, Avinash is a nice guy. All right, Elon Musk is still getting a lot of, uh, lot of uh, votes, but I, I am still inclined to go with Joe Rogan if that is okay with you guys. Uh, although Joe Rogan has now slipped to seventh or eighth. Uh, let me see. Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah is the comedian now. Huh? Yeah, Trevor Noah is also a possibility. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, audience members, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go with uh, Joe Rogan, mainly because Elon Musk and Govinda are very, very easy. They, it is very kind of uh, tough, uh, a, a very difficult for us to make him uh, look, uh, you know, ma make it tough for him. It's very, Elon Musk is very, very gettable. He is there uh, on the news all the time. Mm. Um, so let, let's go with Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah. Okay. What uh, what is the what are the announcements he's going to make? So it cannot be anything about UFC. It cannot be anything about um, uh, podcasting for sure. And nothing um, related to Joe Rogan actually. Something Joe Rogan be. actually make it totally wild and wacky. Something that Joe Rogan would not say. Something that is funny. So uh, go out with your suggestions. Um, what, give us one or two words uh, of what Ankit would say, and we will try to. Kabaddi, Kabaddi is in Olympics. That's a nice one. Uh, he they just invented, invented Kurt Kurt Kurt. No. <laughs> I think Ankit left science a long time ago, and this might be. Yeah, very I don't even know who Kurtov is. <laughs> he is going vegan. That's a very nice one. Joe Rogan going, going vegan, vegan, but it is related. Uh, that's a yeah, nice idea. Hell, hell, hell. No, no, and he is uh, he is uh, on a total uh, uh, meat diet. So he's like an opposite of meat diet. So, you know, it is related in a negative way. Uh, he has Lego, Lego addiction. <laughs> Lego addiction. Lego, that's not Lego a bad addiction. one. That's not a bad one at all. He invented water. That's also nice. Uh, keep, keep, keep those suggestions coming. If you like some, something, just um, uh, repeat it, uh, upvote it. If you really love it, although I didn't take your last upvoted suggestion, but this time I promise I will. Any of these suggestions you like, you just upvote it. Uh, he believes that there will be an alien invasion on July 4th. I really like this. If you guys like this July 4th one, this is a complex one. Um, just say July 4th, July 4th a few times and I will take it. Uh, July 4th is a nice one. So yeah, I like it. July 4th is gaining some popularity. He invented whole numbers. In a, he invented whole number is a natural number. <laughs> What's Vishal? <laughs> Who is Vishal? Yeah. Vishal is being totally, totally nerdy. I love that. Brilliant. So, so okay, we have, uh, I love Sadhguru is also not a bad one. Uh, uh, Polisetti, Mr. Or Ra Rama, Mr. or Miss Polisetti, you are coming up with brilliant ones, but again, it is related to Joe Rogan because Sadhguru went on Joe Rogan's podcast. And again, Ankit, yes. it is good. July, I have taken July 5. Uh, yeah. You know, you don't July need to. 4. Let's go to the second, uh, July 4. So there is uh, going go to, to be an alien invasion on July 4th, is one of the suggestions, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, okay, make it July 5th. Why not? No, no, let's make it July 4th. 
All right. So <laughs> next suggestion, next suggestion. Let's go to the next suggestion, guys. What is his second announcement, which is he likes to wear pant with just one pocket. I like this. If you guys like it too, just say one pocket, one pocket to upport it, one pocket to upport it, and we will uh, we will take that suggestion. Fantastic. Okay, one pocket. People are changing the spelling. Let us see if Luxus software can manage to understand that one pocket is uh, either spelled out or one uh, this thing. Um, okay. Are we getting the votes? We are getting a vote on addiction only. Addiction. He is so much into MDMA and Lego, uh, Lego addiction. Yeah. Huh? a Lego addiction. That is right. One Lego pocket addiction. is now become. Big. All right. I think these are the two ones uh, that I like. That Mr. Joe Rogan is um, uh, Ankit is Mr. Joe Rogan. Hmm. He is announcing also, that there is. Uh, I Sorry? was saying that in case uh, he gets it early, then we'll also try the Lego addiction. Only if possible. Let's see. Only if possible. All right. Uh, possible. Before we call him, can I just for one or like final time try to adjust my. Yeah. Why do you do that? Do you need a timer on this? Uh, yeah, let's try to get it in uh, five minutes. Five minutes? Uh, okay. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so, so uh, before you begin the timing, just once, hmm. uh, what, what are the two things he's announcing? So he's Joe Rogan, and he's hmm. saying that um, uh, on July 4th, uh, there is going to be an alien invention, alien invasion. Invasion. And he, the second one thing he's announcing is that he wears uh, pants with only one pocket. Okay. Which was a weird one. Uh, I don't know who, who came up with that. That was a phenomenal one. Really big, big hand to them. Okay, mm. let's get him. I have a pajama with one pocket. Okay, he's here. You can oh, let, hello, hide the screen, please. <clears throat> hide the screen. Oh, hello, sir, sir. One minute. I'm just adjusting. Uh, yeah. You keep on talking. I'll... I, it's such an honor to have you here. You are, you are the biggest personality in media right now. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, who doesn't know you? Who doesn't know you? Who doesn't know you? Definitely. Just a minute, yeah. Uh, hi, hi. Oh, hello, hi. hello, sir. Hello. Sir. You're, and you are in New York right now. Why? How oh, yes, you, yes. I thought uh, you didn't like big cities too much. Uh, how come <laughs> you're in New York? I love the evening of New York. So. Oh, okay. But like, I thought you left. Los Angeles because you didn't like uh, big cities. <laughs> but you know, sometimes uh, I am out from big city, but hmm. big city is not out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, Phenomenal. Sir, uh, sir, I am now that you are in, uh, I am from, I am uh, Tejashwini Mishra from uh, the New York Times magazine. And, uh, <laughs> and I have a question for you. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, sir, do you get a lot of uh, chale? Chale? Chale is the right word. Uh, what uh, you mouth ulcers. Ul mouth yeah, ulcers. Yeah, mouth, mouth ulcers, ulcers, but not in the mouth, like in your ass, because you are uh, most of the time you are seated. <laughs> that is that's a good uh, question. You are seated for three hours, sometimes four hours. Maybe, uh, definitely. Maybe See, if, the, if the conversation is interesting, I can. Sit for three, four hours. Oh, exactly. You know? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you today's people like you know you are twenty one, huh? <laughs> you don't. You are wheels generation. Instagram yes, generation. Yes, yes, that is true. Yes, that is true. Uh, you, you, you. Uh, very, very peculiar announcements you were making. Um, what, what, what? How did it come about? Why did you think of? Uh, why, 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 why are you making this this one about uh, next month, for example? Uh, see, my my mom always used to say that, hey, Joe, like, you mm -hmm. know, when, whenever you're in trouble, like, you know, yeah. whenever you're in yes. trouble, think positive. Uh, yeah. My but mom has been like... It's a hardly a positive, it's a hardly a positive uh, uh, thing that is happening. Why would you say it's a positive thing? Uh, see, I'm, I'm, the announcement which I'm trying to make is like, I just want to say that I, I want to quit watching porn. It's one of the... Yeah. Sir, if, if what you say is true, if within a few days, all of us will stop watching porn. Everything will, the, everything will finish. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. would we watch porn after that? But I think, I think yeah. this, I think sir is saying this because of the, of the second announcement that he's trying to make. That's a very good point. You know, so, because, because most of the, if, if there is no porn, then there is no need, uh, there is no need, right? 
Yeah, I'm just trying to. Oh, are you suggesting then we'll? It's only in the back, nothing in the front. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So yes. only in the back for the wallet. Right. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. All right. So that's an interesting one. So you are you you started with the second announcement, and you are saying that because people will stop watching porn, you will have no need for the front ones. So you will only take the back one. Yeah. And that is why Correct. makes sense. Correct. Makes sense. Correct. Makes sense. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I know that's this a, is a very a, adult adult kind of announcement which I'm doing right now, but yeah, uh, I I have to. Yeah. and actually that way both the uh, both the uh, both the both the announcements are related if uh, if if the world is really come to coming to an end we should not watch mm-hmm. porn and if you are not yes. watching porn then why do we need three of them only Ooh. one is mm-hmm. enough for the wallet yes. it yes 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 yeah i'm brilliant so i no. i have decided that you know uh, i'm going to just wear like a jeans which will have uh-huh. just one pocket oh, just okay. one pocket okay i don't need three four Because what about cargo, sir? Get... What about cargo? Uh, only one. No, no. Oh, everything. Okay. Okay. Everything. All of it. It's one pocket for everything. Yeah. Okay. Even in cargo. Huh? Okay. Okay. But sir, the most important announcement was no, Mr. Mr. Rogan. The most important announcement was the first one. First one. How first did one. you know about it? How did you come to know about it? Yeah. How did you understand yeah. that this is going to happen? I, you know, sometime I had that the sixth sense. Hmm. Um, it said that you know this is going to happen. Oh, okay. Be- before this, did you believe that they were real? Sorry, please come again. Did Did you actually believe before you came to know of this? Did you believe that they were real? Yeah, the aliens are real. <laughs> aliens are okay. Real. okay, okay, okay. Aliens and, and are what, real. And and it, what is the significance of the date? Why are Why this particular date? Yeah. Why this particular date? Because I means you mean to say this date, which date? Yeah, yeah, yeah date, this, this date. date, this particular date. Why? Today, right? Today? No, <laughs> we still have time. We still have. Is it today? Is it today? Today? today. It today? No, no, no. No, I didn't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought fifteenth of August. Fifteenth of August. Fifteenth of August. So why? Ah, then why? I, we have so much time. I thought we had much lesser time. No, no, fifteenth. Yeah, yeah. You are thinking fifteenth of August. I'm saying yes. no, no, fifteenth August, you guys. No, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's it's the this thirtieth of June. Oh my God! Oh my God! Thirtieth of June is too close. It's too actually, close. Actually, when you said fifteenth of August, I you know my my grandfather was from India, and I know that India has fifteenth of August as Independence Day, and I thought why, <laughs> why, why would. Why yeah, did we? Why? Yeah, yeah July. Aliens. Okay. Alien. Aliens will always come to one place. Yeah. I was just trying to have fun with you. It's fourth of July. Fourth oh, okay. of July. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, it's a fourth of July. Okay. Fourth of July. Only, only, day. only this thing. Oh my God! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Because why don't you? Why don't you introduce yourself to the crowd and tell us who you are and what are your two? Make your announcements. Okay, so guys, you guys, you guys all listen to my my experience. Uh, Uh, my my podcast Joe Rogan, uh, and the first announcement I will just want to say that you know on the fourth of July, I will I will talk to an alien. What? I will talk to alien. I will oh, become alien. Oh, it's oh, just. Oh, so you are going to talk and talk. negotiate. Just... You are going to talk and negotiate before the. Uh... I thought yeah, you were invite... including like Will Smith and. Uh... That guy from Jurassic Park, all of them into one space. Ah, I thought you were putting together a team. Yeah. Ah, I'm I'm bringing all the alien. I'm making all the team. So we are celebrating Fourth of July together. Oh, it's a celebration. Oh, I thought it was like something bad going to happen. Yeah. No, no so we're going to have we're going to end the world on that What? day. Okay. 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 Uh, we so are think... going to end. Okay. I didn't know that you were also part, but why don't you just give us the second? Uh, no. So uh... they will. I knew. I knew Joe Rogan is also alien. World. No, no. They will end the world. I'll stop the world. I say, hey, what are you guys doing? I'll stop them by talking to them. Fantastic, fantastic. By talking to brilliant. them, brilliant, because brilliant. Their mind, brilliant. their mind is all over the place. I'll brilliant. talk to them and I'll say this is bad. And, and can you give us a second? Uh, can you give us a second? My second uh, announcement is that you know, I'm going to wear a pants or jeans which will have just one pocket. Oh, this is okay. this is so thoughtful yeah. of you. Fantastic. Thank you so much.
all right definitely good, good, good ladies and gentlemen you, that is our Thanks show so thank you so much we are improv comedy mumbai individually we are ankit ankit and avinash and i'm yogesh and we had two more performers today which was lux a lot of you or maybe most of you know lux so much thank you so much for joining us lux and we had manish agarwal with us that Wait, is our yes, show yes. if you have any questions on our show or on the software please do write them on the uh, on on the chat keep sending those questions um, and then then we will uh, we will see what happens with those questions we've actually got a few questions i think so let's oh you have already got some questions Fantastic. yeah so the app is supposed to pull questions automatically and pull that up let's let's see what you got okay are these games typical are these games typical okay so i am going to crouch down i have given up on my camera uh, being set up correctly so sorry for that so lux you don't have any kind of software to make sure that my usb <laughs> camera doesn't misbehave like that not yet anyway all right now we'll wait for the next company for that so are these games typical in a live show we might not do so in okay so most of the time we do it in front of an audience in, in, in on a stage in on a stage what happens is it's first of all easier to create a reality uh, of being in the same place at the same time and we can read each other's body language we can make eye contact uh, so for all those reasons we usually do much more theatrical games which might be like 5 to 10 minute skits or even uh, an hour of a uh, play uh, so this is a very challenging environment for us so these games uh, we would maybe in a one hour show maybe we would do one or uh, two of them most of the other games would be much longer like the excuses game which you saw those will be the kind of things that we would do much more uh, because it is much um, uh, more satisfying to do and it is possible to do in a on a live stage that that easily on on zoom this uh, art form is slightly tougher so we we do games which work here much more yeah uh, so just to just to add to that uh, instead of press conference we do a game in which an employee comes late he doesn't know why he has come late the excuses have been given by the audience and two people sitting behind the boss kind of act out what is happening so that clearly cannot happen on screen and we really love that game because it is very very physical so we can go through i think who wants romeo and juliet was a comment in the middle which was which sounds like a question and so the app pulled it out i'm going to delete that what an artist indeed all of you thank you folks thank you a uh, couple of streamer live questions i'll take those up so how many meeting how many people can be in a meeting using streamer live as many as the platform supports so if you're in a zoom meeting with 1000 people it works if you're in a zoom webinar with uh, 10 or 20000 people it works if you're in microsoft teams with 10000 people it works if you're in a youtube live like uh, airrack who is part of mr beast's coterie uh, was with about 100000 people in the audience and millions of viewers it works and in fact stream live did power a live event which will be putting up on our on our website very soon so no constraints from the streamer live event it's just a function of the platform you're using because we plug in with the platform that we're using and directly pull stuff from the chat and and then give the audience a voice as as you saw in the event today what makes a streamer live streamer live how do you sign up streamerlive.com i'm going to leave the delete the usual so please streamerlive.com is a easy sign up button there and uh, either Tina, Joe, or me from the founding team uh, will probably jump on a call with you to set up your account. Uh, this is someone tripping. You got a few questions on uh, how do you prep for improv and how do you learn improv and uh, why you guys always pick on Ankit. So I'm going to let you answer all of those. And for the last game, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to stop share screen. You guys got the questions, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We can see. We can see the questions. uh yogesh i think you are you you can't be heard your mic is either closed or something yogesh can you hear me can i you can you hear me now yeah 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 audible. all right uh okay so my camera is gone my <laughs> this thing is also gone all right a, a quick plug for stream alive lux um a lot of people don't realize that you don't have to actually download another widget for stream alive that it is actually streaming without um, um downloading any other software so you just have to go use it like you are using zoom which i thought this was fairly cool 
for someone like us. that, Ubi, thanks for mentioning it. Folks, if you look at the attendee list, you'll find Streamalive is just one of the attendees in this in this meeting, except uh, this particular attendee is relaying the chat in real time and making all this happen. Thanks, Ubi. All right. Um, how do you learn? Uh, how do you learn improv? Uh, so, and there is a related question: What are the practical implications of improv for every, uh, everyday people? We really, really, really uh, recommend that people learn improv, even if they don't want to do any kind of uh, performance later. Um, two reasons for me: It is a very different way of uh, finding the funny. Um, growing up, I was very sarcastic funny, which was like punching people, and improv is much more like jujitsu, where you go with the flow. You say, okay, this is the reality. How do I add to it? How do I kind of, um, um, how do I play with what is already created? So it is very, very play playful in a very positive and cooperative way. So it, it makes uh, things funny because people are working uh, with each other together. So it's, it's a great, uh, great way. It's, uh, it has a lot of practical implications. Anyway, if you're going on stage, if you're going, going to make uh, eye contact with people, uh, your confidence improves, you, your uh, lot, lot of positives. Um, uh, so just by the way, Ankit uh, does uh, training. Improv Comedy Mumbai keeps doing every three months a beginner workshop. Most of the people, most everyone who comes has no stage experience. People come having never gone on stage. Um, if you are in Mumbai, I would suggest you uh, look it up if you are interested. If you are not in Mumbai, Ankit does online, but I would not recommend that. Find out a, a live theater place in your place and go for that. I know <laughs> Ankit would kind of say, why are you cutting on my business? But he will also agree, learning improv live is way better than, way, way, way better than learning it online. And if you get the chance, find out in your own city who are the teachers. There are teachers all across the world now. A lot of them are very good. Do an improv course, you will not, you will not regret it. That's my guarantee. Um, and why do we pink, uh, pick on Ankit always? Um, so, so this is, uh, uh so we, we, okay. So uh, Ankit is, uh, Ankit is actually a very, very, very experienced actor and a very experienced improviser. And I think it was five years back, uh, Ankit went to a Seattle improv festival and he was kind of interviewed, um, in, in the newspaper and he made a very, very perceptive comment. He said that in an improv, uh, performance audience wants to see you struggle and then overcome the struggle. So you are there, people know, people are identifying with you that you don't know what is going to happen and you are still fighting. And Ankit really does that better than anyone else. Um, I, like uh, me he's or- uh, he, He's a warrior. Um, he's a me, I would definitely start getting frustrated. I have seen Ankit in a live show for 10 minutes, not getting something very, very simple and very obvious. And the whole, and it happens, all of us blow our fuse, something is obvious to the whole room. And everyone is laughing and everyone is laughing and falling down because he's not getting something very basic and very simple. But Ankit for 15 minutes is fighting like a warrior. And, and struggle is it, real. And that struggle his is struggle real. is real and he is not afraid of that struggle. And that is why um, we, we love Ankit uh, to be the one who is guessing. because And we want to get him frustrated because we want to uh, see him kind of in struggle where everyone knows the answer, he doesn't know it, and it's obvious, and all of us are saying, come on, it is in front of you. Today, and a lot of times he gets it like he got today, he got Joe Rogan very fast. Um, so, but uh, Ankit is phenomenal at doing the struggle. So that is why we uh, love uh, Ankit to be the person who is doing the guessing. Uh, so we got those out of the way. How do you prep? Not very prep. That's funny. Practical implications. How do you pick? I, and you, I think you covered you... the last one. Can you learn improv online? I mean, no, you, can saying... learn it. you can learn it, but if you have a choice, don't go to a class. You'll, you'll, you'll not regret it. Perfect. Hey, so uh, I have one last thing and then we can say and scene. So we've got one last question, which is like a poll for the audience. I'm just going to run that right now. I want very, very honest opinions. So the, the performers will not be hurt by what you have to say. So just choose from one to five. And this is probably a good time to say that the underlying spirit of improv, uh, and Upi, maybe you or Ankit or Avinash can talk more about it, is, is yes and. 
And I think that's what this poll reflects as well. The underlying spirit that we have for any improv show, which is you yes and your partner. And, and which is also why it's such an amazing skill to take to the workplace, life, and everything in between. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, that uh, improv has the whole kind of uh, going with the flow thing. So, because you are creating something on the spot, you cannot have contradict contradiction. And I'll give you an example. Like, like if you go on a scene in a scene, and the first person says, "Daddy, uh, I have got news for you," and the second person says, uh, "But I'm not your father," he'll get a laugh. But the scene is dead. Imagine doing a scene with someone like that for an hour. So if improv has a rule and improv has very few rules, in my view, there is only there are only two rules. One is yes and. Yes and means yes, I agree to what you're saying. Not just agree to what you are saying, but what you're bringing with your body language, et cetera. And this is what I'm adding to it. And the second rule or second rule is listening. And listening just not just with the ears, but listening to the tone, listening to the body language. Uh, listening to uh, non-verbals, listening to what is not said, and uh, that 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 is that is all. That is those are the reasons you should do improv. Actually, so. absolutely. Yes, I want to thank all our performers, our audience, for sharing their Saturdays with us. Uh, we use these events; we call them Stream Alive showcase events, and we use them to test the software. Each time, we have a whole bunch of new features. So, for example, this thing called Runoff Show is the big new feature we had this time around, where we wanted to test how you can run a show with 14 interactions, which is actually what we had through this entire uh, hour of fun that we had. And we keep having a lot of Stream Alive showcase events, which uh, reflect our belief that when you want to even do things like demo or software, you should make it entertaining, not just educative about what you do. So we did one which was a hip hop um, and, and beatboxing show. Then we had one which was a workshop on storytelling, this one on improv, and we're going to be having a lot more every second or third month. So. Do sign up, uh, come to our website, sign up, join us for future events. And thanks again for, for making this really a lot of fun. And thank you to, to, to Improv Comedy Mumbai. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you.